So nice to be here. Why? Yeah. Sorry? Why? Why? Because it's my first time. Oh. Yeah. You scared me. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> <That's great>. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What did I do? <laughs> and I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good to have you here. Welcome. Nice to see you. And next to you is Cine. Hi, I'm Kirsten, and I'm the vocal coach and the Becky vocal uh, for Stephania. Very important. This one. Yes, everybody's <laughs> important. And next to you? Hello, I'm Sofia and I'm the head of the Greek delegation. I'm very happy to be here and very glad to meet you all. Welcome. Well, Stefania, hi. <laughs> I'm Stefania, eight years old. Big And next to you. Hello, I'm Marcus. It's an honor for me to be here. I'm one of the dancers. Stefania, we love you and we love Greece and Eurovision. Hi, I'm Nikos, I am a dancer too, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank Welcome you so much. Us. Hello, I'm George. Even if uh, it's my fourth time in Eurovision, I'm so excited. It's a perfect organization, and I'm so... You are a Eurovision veteran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, happy to have you back here. Uh, I'm Kostas, I'm the new guy. It's not my first time in Eurovision, but I'm very happy to work with Focus. Uh, for the first time, and of course with Stephanie. Yeah. So welcome everybody. <laughs> um, how did the rehearsal go? Oh, the, hi, yeah, sure. I, I just wanted to introduce one uh, more member of our team. Yes. Mr. Elias Kokotos. Who is Woo! <laughs> there he is. Hey. And he would be happy to, to, to share some uh, uh, words about what we saw earlier when uh, you, uh, when uh, we, you allow us. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, let's get some bit of the assistance. There they are. You don't need to be up here. We'll find you. Yeah, if you would stand up, if you would stand up first, please, yes, we can all have the time. Hey. Oh, I, I just because Focas and Dimitris, the creative team, couldn't come because we have another rehearsal. I just wanted to say a few things for the Greek uh, entry. First of all, I want to say about Stefania. She's a very charismatic singer. We are very proud of working with her. I think, and I told her yesterday, she has a potential of doing an international career. She's young, she's a great singer, she's beautiful, she ticks all the boxes, she has a great voice, she has a great color of voice. So from all the artists we have worked all these years in Eurovision, I think she is one of the very few that has all the potential for a big international career. Uh, I want to say a great thank you from all of us to our stage uh, dancers. They, we have focuses you, most of you know, has made incredible things in Eurovision, and this is the most difficult act he has ever made. And when we started like four months ago, he told me I will only do it with my dancers, I will not use anyone else because they are very professional and they are the best. So I want your applause for them, please. Thank you. For the dancers. 
thank you. On stage is, is incredible. I want to say a huge thank you to the host broadcaster that did everything possible to materialize our dream because it's it was a vision. It was a very difficult vision to make Chromo Key live. It's, it has never been done before. So and they really worked very high for this number. So we want to thank them. It's one of the best Eurovisions we've ever been. And finally, we want to thank ERT uh, that trusted us and gave us all the support, and they were always next to us at every step of this project. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So let's go to the act. Stephanie, can you tell me a little bit about, are you happy with the rehearsals? Did you make any changes? I am so happy. I am so happy because the second rehearsal was actually so good. Everybody was enjoying it. We weren't nervous anymore. The first time, yes, of course you are nervous because you don't know the stage, you don't know the people. And right now we recognize people, we were used to the stage. So, and the dancers were doing everything good. I was like, thank God, <laughs> and they are amazing. And at backstage, everything was so nice today. I really enjoyed today. Ah, oh, great. Um, we have a lot of questions coming in, so let's head over to the online questions. Hello, Joshua Main from Eurovision Union. Was the staging you had in mind from the beginning, was this the staging you, uh, you had in mind from the beginning, or did you have a plan B just in case? This was actually what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, we, we, yeah, I think we look at each other right now and we are like, yeah, this is what we wanted. We are so happy. And, you know, Focus is helping us so good. And just want everything so perfect. Um, because, yeah, it's a really difficult performance. It's, you know, we, we are taking a risk. But we have, like uh, Ilya said, the best dancers. We have the, you know, the amazing people behind us. And um, I think what I saw today was so cool, was so amazing. It, it was like, I, I saw myself, I was like, what? Am I that girl? <laughs> like, what? Yes, you are. So, so, can you tell me a little bit more about the risk? Because you said this. So yeah, there are ob objects where we are like standing around and we're like, you know, just, uh, yeah, there are objects. And they are really, actually, really difficult because the dancers really need to pay attention and on the d uh, objects. And I really need to sing good and to pay attention on the objects. So, um, but yeah, we are practicing every day still, even in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so this question is from Victor from Eurobox. Hi Stefania, you are the youngest contestant this year. How do you feel and do you think you can contribute with something that the other contestants can't? Ooh. Um, look, I'm just, can I be honest? I'm just here to enjoy. I'm just really here to enjoy. That's so wise. To, yeah, I just, you know, I don't like, yeah, I'm just 18 years old and this is my dream. This is actually my dream. And a lot of people are telling me, yeah, is it, you know, do we have pressure? And I'm like, no, because, I, you know, like I tell every time, people around me are so good and so nice. They're helping me, supporting me and making sure that if I'm not comfortable with something, they will like change it. And yeah, I'm just living my dream. Actually, I live my dream right now with the best people around me. And do you think it's an um, it's advantage that you are the youngest? Um, well, of course, they will look at you like, oh, she's just 18 years old. Who is she? But um, nobody has seen our performance. Nobody has seen how it looks like. And I think when people are going to see it, they're like, okay, Greece. Okay. <laughs> well, I saw your outfit. I was like, okay, Greece. <laughs> If you see him, like uh, his creations and that kind of stuff, you are like, okay. Yes. <laughs> that was my reaction exactly because you, a lot of people are saying you have one of the best outfits for Eurovision. Oh, really? Yes. How do you feel about that? That's so cool. That's so cool, actually. Yeah, I, look, it's my dream outfit. So when I'm wearing it, I feel like, to be honest, don't laugh, but I feel like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know, everybody's looking just at the costume because, yeah, it's really cool, you know, with the glam on it. Um, I just love it. And I think with the boys that they're wearing white um, outfits, I think it matches really well. And that we are like, you know, like a colorful performance. Yes. Um, so this question is Martijn van der Veen from the Netherlands. Hi, Stefania. For a Dutch Greek friend of mine, food and hospitality are very important. She also eats a boatram and gas. I was wondering, what? <laughs> what makes you typical Greek and what makes you typical Dutch? Oh, what made me typical Dutch or Greek? Um, I think Dutch, and you, whoa, I really need to think of that. Um, what is the most 
Dutch thing about like, you and what is the most Dutch thing about you? The Dutch thing about me is that I think the Dutch people are like, you know, um, going out, but not buying something. I think the Dutch people are like that and just want to see them and then after that they are going to buy it online. I think those, that is like the Dutch routine, I guess. And um, what makes me Greek is that I'm really open and that I'm like, you know, if I see someone like, come at my house. We have dinner together, you know, that's how Greek people are. Uh, so another question coming in, well it's coming in and my iPad is not doing what it's supposed to do, there we go. Uh, hi Stephanie and Mateus from Kolibli, what is your favorite Greek Eurovision song and why? Greek Eurovision, Elena Paparizou. Yeah, with my number one, that's just the winner and you know, she's queen and also supporting me through all of this, so yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, so this is a question, how do you keep your voice up to the perfect performance? How do you keep your voice in shape? Well, I have the best vocal coach here, so she's <laughs> helping me a lot. Um, and she's telling me to not worry, to just be happy with everything, and just to not think about it. Because if you think about being nervous, if you think about th there are a lot of people watching, you are going to be nervous, and your, stre uh, your voice is also just, you know... He also, like, it's a up. person. For yeah. me, it's a person. If, if I have stress, my voice has stress. So, um, today I was just thinking, it's just a rehearsal. Just enjoy it. And everything went well, also with the voice and because of her, of course. Did you give your voice a name? As it is his own person. Kirsten. <laughs> yeah, Kirsten. <laughs> so, we have time for some questions here in the audience. If you would uh, be so kind to stand up, sir. And um, our assistant is going to make it's way up to you. Hi, Stefania. I'm uh, Angelos from Greece, Hi. from Eurofans Radio. I would last, uh, ask, like to uh, ask you, uh, last year Eurovision was cancelled. You didn't manage to reach the Eurovision stage. How has this uh, wait in time made you more mature in what, in what ways? Well, I'm not mature to start there. <laughs> just, yeah, I'm just 18, but I act like a 15 years old kid. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, just, uh, you know, the one thing I really wanted to do, actually, when there was no Eurovision going on anymore, I really wanted to finish school, because that's an important thing in life, to know finish school. Um, so I did, and I'm really happy with that, and after that, I really focused with Pearson on my voice. Um, I was um, actually, yeah, practicing also with my, you know, with, um, yeah, just sport, actually, also, because, yeah, she needs to be really good on stage because you can't sing like <gasps> like that so that needs to be like uh, better for me and um, and still I have still lessons for a lot of things for Greek also uh, I studied a lot also on my Greek um, and just everything because you don't get it you know like easily you need to work for it and that wa that's actually what I did and I think the dancers also really worked for it because, yeah, they also knew, like, Eurovision is coming again. We need to work again for everything. So, um... You made the most out of the time that you had extra. Yeah. 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 Uh, does that answer your question? Sure. Uh, some more questions. Uh, this sir, gentleman here, and after I will come back here. Hi, Stefania. Uh, Neil Farron from Eurovoi.com. I wanted to ask you, um, as a Greek person born in the Netherlands and who has lived in the Netherlands most of her life, how has this experience brought you closer to your Greek heritage and how has it strengthened your Greek heritage? Can you say that again? <laughs> uh, um, so as so as some as a Greek person born in the Netherlands yeah. and who has lived most of her life in the Netherlands, how has this import how has this experience brought you closer to your Greek side? Well, it actually did brought me closer to my, you know, my Greek self because I think I wasn't like awake. My Greek self wasn't awake, so I really missed something. And right now, everything my like my blood turned into, you know, like it, it, it wakes me. It wakes me up. So, um, and yeah, I think it's really cool that's actually in the Netherlands because I love the Netherlands. I live there. I left a lot of friends there. I have a lot of family who's living in the Netherlands. And I think it's so cool to, you know, perform for actually my fatherland. Um, but, you know, standing in the land, in the country where I grew up and was born. So I think that's 
such a great combination and I understand everything backstage what people are telling me it's so nice and so cool and so great the best of both worlds uh, we have quite uh, room for one more quick question and after that it's already time for the press moment uh, if our assistants can head over there hi Stephanie yeah, Arjun uh, from AD Dash newspaper uh, will you ever uh, compete for Holland <laughs> <laughs> everybody's asking me that you know um, actually, I need to be careful with what I'm saying, but, you know, if they give me a chance, why not? If, you know, it's just a dream to stand on Eurovision, it's a dream for everybody. Even though, you know, it's Belgium or Russia who is going to ask me, do you want to represent our country? Of course, it's a dream. To everybody, it's a dream. So, if Holland is coming to me and asking, do you want to represent us? Yes, of course. I, don't, I, I will never say no. But first, Greece? First Greece, yes, first you Greece. gave me this chance. Yes, and we are looking forward to seeing you on that stage with 